My friends, I welcome you here to St. George Church as we celebrate the feast of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We ask that the Lord will bless us with faith, that we may recognize the power of his goodness in our lives. You were sent to heal with the pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who by glorifying the saints bestows on us fresh proofs of your love, graciously grant that, commended by their intercession and spurred on by their example, we may be faithful in imitating your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses did exactly as the Lord had commanded him. On the first day of the first month of the second year, the dwelling was erected. It was Moses who, who erected the dwelling. He placed his pedestals, set up his boards, put in its bars, and set up his columns. He spread the tent over the dwelling and put the covering on top of the tent, as the Lord had commanded him. He took the commandments and put them in the ark. He placed poles alongside the ark and set the propitiatory upon it. He brought the ark into the dwelling and hung the curtain veil, thus screening off the ark of the commandments as the Lord had commanded him. Then the cloud covered the meeting tent and the glory of the Lord filled the dwelling. Moses could not enter the meeting tent because the cloud settled down upon it and the glory of the Lord filled the dwelling. Whenever the cloud rose from the dwelling, the children of Israel would set out on their journey. But if the cloud did not lift, they would not go forward. Only when it lifted did they go forward. In the daytime, the cloud of the Lord was seen over the dwelling, whereas at night, the fire was seen in the cloud by the whole house of Israel in all the stages of their journey. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, my God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How, how lovely, lovely is your, is your dwelling, dwelling place, place, O Lord, Lord mighty God. God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your, your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are, they go forth from strength to strength. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God.
Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother, Lazarus, who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Pope Francis thought it was a good idea to expand today's feast day, because originally, for many years, this was just the Feast of St. Martha. But he said, we've got a whole family of saints, so why don't we put them all together, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And I think that, you know, we see the contrast between Martha and Mary and how their, their faith uh, worked on, on different levels, and yet it was always directed to the Lord. Yeah, I find it interesting that St. John tells us in the way he writes this story in the Gospel is that Martha heard that Jesus was coming and she went out to, to meet him. She went right away. And, but he says, but Mary sat at home. I just think it's interesting that he didn't say Mary stayed at home. He said Mary just sat. So she's kind of plopped there. She's staying at home while Martha's running out uh, to go meet him and to say, Lord, if you had been here, Lord, if you had been here. And I think that so often we can find ourselves saying that to the Lord as well. Lord, if you had been here, what happened? Why is my life going in this direction? Why did this tragedy happen? Why am I faced with these quandaries in my life? Lord, if you had been here. And in fact, I think we have an image for that in the first reading that we heard as Moses was leading the uh, uh, Israelites out of slavery. It said that by night, the Israelites were led by a pillar of fire, and by day they were led by a cloud. And they would not go out any further if the cloud didn't move. When the cloud moved, Moses led his people. Lord, you're there. In so many ways, God is, makes himself present. We don't get the pillar of fire. We don't get the cloud that leads us. But we've been given faith and we've been given this gift to be a part of God's holy people in the church. And like Martha, sometimes we rush out seeking Jesus, and other times we stay back and we just kind of let God envelop us as we sometimes find that quiet place, whether it be in our home or just in our heart. We seek out the Lord. We pray that he will give us uh, all the needs that we have, that, that they will be fulfilled. Martha's prayer would be answered. Jesus was there for her. And in the raising of Lazarus, we see this magnificent miracle that would bring more and more people to Jesus. More and more people would come to believe in him because of the raising of Lazarus. We don't get many resurrections in our life. Not of that kind. Not the kind that Lazarus got. But we have the most important resurrection, and that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the promise is that we will have a share in that. The promise is, is that we can share in that very same eternal life. And so that's what we have. So whether we are finding ourselves spiritually running out 
to meet the Lord, or if we're just finding a nice quiet place in our hearts to seek him out, we know that he is always there. It's this promise, and God always keeps his promises. So we stand together as we offer our prayers and petitions that the Lord will give us the faith that we need so that we will always know that he is near, especially in our times of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We ask that God will continue to watch over and bless the church, that we may truly become more and more a reflection of him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That God will watch over uh, all of us in our own personal needs, we pray in a particular way for our families and our friends, for those who we love and those who we do not love as we should. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That God will help us to let go of anything that would separate us from him or for, from each other, that we can be released from any prejudices or biases that we carry in our hearts against other people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are most vulnerable in our society. We pray for the unborn, for the poor, for those who are alone, for those who are mentally challenged, especially those who have mental health issues. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick at homes or in hospitals. We give thanks uh, to God for the uh, good news that Joe Panic got. Deacon Joe uh, got through his surgery yesterday very well. And so far, so good. So we pray for his recovery and the recovery of all the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially Patsy Minnick and Richard Allen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for our Mass intention today, Anne and Harry Prozer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of all goodness and peace, hear the prayers of your people. Bless us, Lord, as we come running to you. Help us, Lord, so that we can also find that quiet place in our hearts so that, like Lazarus, we too may share in the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. O Lord, give favorable hearing to our prayers and safeguard us through the intercession of your saints that we may give worthy service at your altar through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints. And in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. 
by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable gift of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, with Saints Martha and Mary and Lazarus and George and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite the folks at home to take a moment now to make an act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-loving God, Father of all consolation and peace, grant your family, gathered to praise your name in celebration of the saints, that through the mysteries of your only begotten Son, which we have here received, we may obtain the pledge of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And may your families, like Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, all become saints. Amen. At least we'll work on it, huh? <laughs>